Hey guys, my name is Freedom. Today I'm going to show you how to adjust the normal map and actually what is the normal map and how can we use it in Icon 8 3D animation software to make the rendering effect to have the bumps and the normal. You can see at the left hand side, this is this is a 3D models that without the normal map. Now you can see this is my Icon 8. If I delete the normal or what we call the bump map, I just delete it. Now you can see if I go to the key light here and then I press, I make sure make it visible and I press E to adjust the direction of the light. And in this 3D models, without the normal map, without the bump, it doesn't show any, any of the up and down, the roughness, etc. But then, if now I undo it, select back the 3D models, you can check, I undo it to make sure the bar map coming back here. Now, it have a bar map already. Once the bar map or what we call the normal map is already there, then back to the light here. You can see when I adjust the direction of of the key light or anything, you can see that it influences the surface reflection of the 3D models. Now, if I delete, delete it again, the normal map here, you can see everything disappear. It, it is just like, like a flat surface without any of the bump. Now, you can see this is the effect. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the normal map to, to make sure that your 3D model have a good rendering effect. So now, everything I start from beginning, start to create a new file. And then, now on my desktop, you can see I have the textures here. The first ones, what we are going to look for is the diffuse. This is the diffuse map. And then, the normal map, or what we call the bump, it's just something like this, the purple color. This is what we call the normal map. So now, in my Icon 8 3D animation software, I go to the content, go to search some props, and this is just a demo. This is just an example. I will just use a simple prop, a 3D, a 3D blocks here. I will choose the ball. First, I will choose a ball. And the next ones, I will just choose a plain square like this so right now. This is the ball. And next, let's say I already choose the ball already selected. Click the material. This is the base color and this is the bump. Everything is just simple. And then now I have this, the textures. Actually, you can search it from internet. I will show you how to search it. So now I close, I start my browser here. In your Google, you can search the texture, heaven. It is at here, the texture poly heaven. Click into this website, then you can download a lot of the, the textures. It is included, included the normal map as well. Now here you have to choose, let's say choose 1K, zip, and here you can just all choose the JPG is okay because JPG has a smaller size. This one no need, the blend also no need. Once you click download, then it is going to download it as a zip file. Once you download it already, you can just extract it into your folder. Now, if I click on that, this is a zip folder, and then it is all, all right here. So now on my desktop, I already have, have all of these textures that actually downloaded from the texture heaven. Let's say now the first one is the ball. I apply the diffuse to substitute to replace the base color. Now, at the same time, this is just a flat plane. I also want to just replace it 
with the diffuse color. Now you can see this is the wall and this is a, a ball. So before I apply any of the, the normal, we can just do some comparison. Now, both of it, the bump map is still, still a flat map. Next, if I apply the bump map, for example, I, I drag in this to replace the bump. And what is this picture here? It shows that this is a normal, so I choose normal, I not choose the bump. You see, once I choose it already, this wall already become so realistic, it have the reflection of the light here. I change, change my key light direction. Now you can see it changed the way that it, it render, it reflects the light as well. So if I delete the normal map, this type of the effect will disappear, it just appear like a wallpaper. So you better to have a, a bump map or what you call the normal map. For this board, it, it is also the same. I drag in the normal map, choose it as a normal map here. Now it render with more realistic effect like this. The key light is here. Now you can see it have this type of the shadow effect like this. So it, it appears realistic. If I double click and delete the bump again, click and delete it, it disappear. So that, that is how it is going to work, how the normal map work for your 3D rendering in Icon 8 3D animation software. And in this tutorial, I already show you how to use the normal map. And that's all for today about my tutorial on the normal map for Icon 8 3D animation software. That's all for today. Thank you for watching. If you love my video tutorial, if you feel all these tutorials are very helpful to your 3D rendering, 3D modeling, 3D animations, and also your game developing, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel and also turn on the mini bell and select all so that when next time I publish a new video tutorial or sharing, you receive a notification immediately. See you in my next video. Enjoy. Happy 3D modeling, 3D animation, and game developing. See you.